Today I'm going to show you an operational method for defeating basic magnetic door contact sensors. First, the basics. We know that the sensor alarms when two contacts are separated, but why? A teardown of our cheap GE sensor reveals two vital components, a reed switch and a permanent magnet. A reed switch is a sensor which either opens or closes a circuit in the presence of a magnetic field. Some reed switches are normally open, but they close when a magnetic field attracts one conductive reed to its partner. Other reed switches are normally closed, but they open when a magnetic field repels one conductive reed away from the other. Most door contact sensors can be wired either way. Since the two forms of reed switches can be bypassed by different magnetic poles, we need a method to determine the state of the switch. To do this, we use a Hall effect sensor. It's a device that can determine the polarity of a magnet. This is useful to know because, regardless of the state of the switch, the presence of a magnet still indicates a closed door. So as long as we mimic the sensor's original magnetic field, we can fool the sensor into thinking that the door is still closed. On our model door, we've installed a Honeywell contact sensor and wired it to some LEDs. The light remains on when the magnet is nearby, but the light is extinguished when the magnet is removed by an opening door. Our first step is to determine the polarity of the sensor's magnet. On an outward opening door, this is a simple matter of locating the magnet and acquiring the read. So we need a negative pole. We double check to make sure that the green side of our magnet is indeed over the negative pole. We then place the negative pole of our magnet near the sensor and open the door. The light remains lit, signifying that an alarm did not fire. Laminating the Hall effect sensor allows us to use this tool on inward opening doors as well by turning the sensor into a door shim. Here you can see that the sensor made it completely past the door jamb. 